Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create multi-value parameter in SSRS report. We'll be creating a, a tabular report and then we'll create a, a parameter that can accept multi-values. We will be providing values to that parameter from a query and then we will also set some default values. Now, let me take you to the query and here is my query. So I'm using select uh, first name, last name, product name, item sold, and region uh, from a uh, total sale table. And uh, this table uh, is exist uh, is existing uh, in a sales database. Uh, now th these are the record we have here. What I want to do, I want to create a, a parameter report that can accept uh, single or multi regions and show me those uh, values uh, for those records. Now let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. First of all, let's uh, take a look on the shared data source, uh, double click uh, and we can see that uh, it is pointing to the sales database. Uh, so we can use uh, this shared data source. Uh, now click on the reports, uh, add new item and go to the report uh, and here we will be providing the name. So let's call this one multi value parameter report. Add. Once uh, the empty report is created, uh, we need to go to the data sources and add data source. Uh, let's provide the name to this one. We call it DS Sales. This is important. You don't want to have data set 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So here you can have embedded data source that will be specific or limited to that report. But in our case, we can use the shared one as we are creating our reports from the same database. Click here. Add. Now go to the add data set and the data set is the result set that is returned by our query that can be select query or a store procedure so we are going to use the embedded data set as this is specific for this report let me call this one d set sale total and now we select the data source and here we will provide our query to make this query as a parameterizer and also it should accept the multi values so what we will be doing and we will be writing here where region in and then you have small parentheses and at the rate and provide any name you like in my case I'm gonna call this one region so you can call it region parameter or parameter underscore region whatever you call as long as you put something like this so you have parentheses at the rate and then name and then parentheses closer this is going to create a multi-value parameter so hit ok now come here and right click insert and table so we can bring the values for these columns or fields. Let's bring those other fields as well. Items sold. And finally bring the region. We really don't need the region here, but I want to bring it so we can see that if our parameter is working correctly or not. Click here and then bold and provide some background color. So in this case, yellow. And uh, let's expand this a little so we can see sale person name is not coming into one line so let's make this one one line okay now we are all good we can preview the report as you can see that it is a single value as of now I can go ahead and maybe type it let me see Asia Europe and if I will preview the report it will not it will not bring anything up so it's not really accepting that values it is a multi value parameter and I have provided the values like this but it did not accept it so now what we need to do we need to go to design and say parameter and here in the region right click say parameter properties so now this is a prompt it is a providing we can call it choose region or regions because it, it can have accept multiple regions as well so whatever you want to write here enter your region or select multiple region or one region and here you will see allow multiple values so even if we have created this as a multi value parameter we know that we need in clause and to create the multi value parameter but we have to come to the properties and tell allow multiple values so this is what it is going to make this parameter as multi values now we are all good here let's go back and take a look and as you can see here now it is giving us a bigger text box where we can write so if I write Asia 
and Europe and now I will go ahead and click here and view report is not returning anything so one thing I notice here if you write something like this Asia enter Europe and uh, North America now as long as you have um, select put the value enter and come to the next line and write it it's going to take that value even uh, when I check these values uh, they're coming with the comma and there is a uh, one space here so let me I will try one time to show you guys even I give a space it might not work so let's go back now and we can see that the data is coming for uh, all of those uh, regions now let's go back here and uh, delete this uh, and if I write some, exactly the same Asia space sorry comma provide a space and uh, now I hit uh, okay if I will go ahead and preview it it will not return me even it looked the same way what uh, we have got uh, by entering the values uh, in different uh, lines so the line will work but if I will put in the same with the commas it will not work so anyways uh, no big deal this is not a great way to put the parameter anyways we want to have a drop down uh, that will give us uh, those values now let's go back here and go to parameter again and uh, we are going to provide some available values uh, so we are going to go to available values uh, we can uh, write uh, static values here we can add those values here maybe Europe North America and all that uh, and use them but uh, that's somewhere let's say if uh, you're uh, um, in the table uh, tomorrow you will have a different region as well uh, maybe Af Africa is added uh, as a region uh, so you will uh, you will never see the Africa from the drop down as uh, you have only added uh, Asia, North America, and Europe here. So you don't want to use uh, here static values. You want to have the values coming from the query. So uh, write a query that should select the records uh, from a table. And if a table doesn't have the values, you don't need them. If a table has the values, yeah, it will display that. So now we can go ahead and use the data set here in the data set we have sales total I have already shown that if we use the same data set what is on the ta tablex or a table we are using it will throw error because it will say forward dependencies are not allowed so don't try this one let's go back and create a new data set for these uh, parameter values so right click add data set and call this one D set and uh, region parameter now go to embedded data set use the same data source and we will call it select distinct region from table if I will not write a distinct it will uh, repeat the same values over and over uh, and this is what it is going to display and in the parameter I don't need to display the whole values I just need the distinct values so I'm gonna write the distinct and that's gonna work for us hit OK now let's go back to the parameter properties parameter properties available values and get values from the query here we can select the D set region parameter now here is the value that exactly value we will be uh, passing to the query so this is a region and label is something uh, that you want to show in the drop down in our case uh, this does make sense uh, so we will be using exactly the same uh, thing what we have here such as North America Asia and Europe they make sense to us uh, but we can have anything maybe if we just want to display NA or AS uh, or EU we can create uh, another uh, column here and uh, use that I will go ahead and uh, show you that part as well now let's go and use the region in the label as well hit ok go to properties and now you can see that we have a select all option and it will select everything and it will return us all the records now if we want to go ahead and deselect all of them and select only Europe we can do that and here that's what I was talking about you see Asia Europe North America that's the label it is showing you and in our case label and values are the same but we can change the label so just to change the label I have prepared a query and this is a query I'm gonna use so I'm gonna use the region that will be used as value and I'm saying case when region is equal to Europe then European region so the European region will come as in that drop down and then Asia for when is it is Asia then Asian region and for North America North America region and if some uh, unknown region comes uh, let's say we don't want to say we just want to say unknown region fine use that one so uh, this query if I run this one uh, 
this is the actual value and the, this is the value we are displaying uh, in the parameter so uh, in my case uh, see if uh, Africa will come I want to come that as Africa and I want to display the value but in your case let's say if the scenario is beside any of these uh, values uh, even any new region is added we want to add that to the unknown so that's fine no big deal it will work just fine so your choice uh, you can always uh, create the labels for everything or use another column let's say you have uh, another column say detail region description you can use that one so let's go back uh, the purpose is to show you how you can use it and the rest goes to you and requirement so paste the query now come back to the parameter and say parameter properties available values and here in the value field region is fine but uh, label field we are gonna say region label so hit okay now you will see different now here you will see Asia regions and European region and North America region but actual values are passing to the queries Asia Europe and uh, North America so if we select that we will get the same results so we can go ahead and deselect uh, and Asia region the last part I want to show you when uh, we run this query uh, sorry the report uh, we want to display something by default so the very first time if you go to uh, design come preview you don't see anything you have to select uh, the uh, parameter value from one of them uh, what we want to do we want to display some uh, this report with default value so go to the parameter maybe we select North America as a default parameter values and here we have default values now you can specify value you can write the values or you can get the values from the query so let's say if we'll say select values from the query and we say okay from parameter and select the region so actually the value not the label so hit okay now we see what happened so in this case uh, it took uh, all the values uh, so it selected everything uh, so if you are not interested in that part uh, okay you want to display only one value uh, with default report with one go to default and remove this part and here sorry don't use the get value from a query use the specify value and here you can write Asia let's see if that work or you can click here on FX and write it there so let's see now it is showing you the showing you the data for Asia region the value took Asia but uh, as we have a defined label for Asia as Asia region that's why it is shown Asia region here and it's selected so this is the way you will be creating your uh, report with multi value parameter and uh, I hope you learned something out of this and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video